best coast breakfast, west coast, think white bait, think white bait fritters. Since breakfast is in Westport, we thought what would breakfast look like if we were in Westport, and this is it right here, white bait fritters. Thank you, Kerry. Thank you, Tamati. How are you this morning? <laughs> I'm all good, thank you. Talk to me about the white bait season. White bait season start off reasonably slow. In the last week, there's been some very good catches that have actually started to appear. Right. It's been um, a very good week for a lot of local catches. So much so that you've got enough to bring down for me, yeah? Yes, yes. Thought to bring some down for you today. Tell me what's in your, um, I mean, how do you make your recipe? Uh, it's a pound of white bait, six eggs, a cup of flour, and a bit of pinch of salt, and a bit of um, pepper. Mate. You're my hero. Did you ever know that you're my hero? You're everything I wish I could be. And I'm going to go have one of these right now. Let me just get one of these. Oh, excuse the fingers. Look at that. And there's a little bit of mint sauce here as well. Mint jelly. Can it smear that on? I wouldn't and put that on it. I'm a purist with, with my white bait fritter. Oh yeah, I wouldn't have gone for the mint sauce either, quite frankly. In fact, I wouldn't have even gone for the bread. I, I would have just had the fritter. <laughs> I wouldn't have either, but these guys here have said to me, and they're from Westport, that the mint jelly is actually a good thing to do. So here we go. Mm. Mm. My mouth is literally watering. Yeah. I love See, and I would have bait. gone for the bread. I was happy with the bread. It was the mint sauce. Oh, on. no, no, no. Just the fritter. Just the fritter. Amazing. Yeah, Amazing. I mean, oh, yeah. Thank you. No, it looks good. And I don't mind your white bait as seafood. What, there's about seven different... Tommy, very quickly check out with that guy. Um, what is it they grow yep. into, those white boat, bait? What fish is it? What fish does the, does the white bait grow into? He doesn't know. In Nunga. In Nunga. In Nunga, is it? Yeah, I think you might be right. I think that could be one of them. There are about seven different fish. I thought you were going to say there are about seven in Nunga around because actually they never get to grow that big. Yeah. Oh, it must really knock the stocks. But obviously that's why they have so many oh, because yes. they know how much we like the mm. fritters. Um, but they hey, look but like here's something for you. Just what? quickly. What? Just quickly, Paul. Um, they apparently used to have filleting. Um, filleting a white bait here back in the day, but they don't anymore. Can you imagine filleting a white bait? <laughs> no, I can't imagine that, and I think they're having you on. But they did, didn't they? They did, yes, at competitions on Saturday mornings. Competitions on Saturday mornings, not having you on at all. That would have no. been an exercise in precision, wouldn't it? Well, I mean, let's be honest, there's not a lot to do in Westport. <laughs> mm. so imagine what, what you all gather together and fillet white bait. What would your filleting knife look like? A tiny little needle. <laughs> It'd kill a day, wouldn't it, filleting the white bait? Oh, don't talk to me, I'm up to my eyeballs in white bait. Um, no, that's brilliant. And I love to see, I love to see a great big stack of bread and butter. You won't Do remember you? this because you're too young, but you'd go to restaurants in New Zealand, proper no, restaurants. No, well, there's a, there, the, is it the Green Parrot in Wellington? Oh. And you can still go and on the table, big pile of sliced white yeah, bread. that's their thing. Mm -hmm. That is their thing. Used to folk, Winston Peters used to be down there all the time in the old days in politics. Oh, well, I think it probably still is. That was the place, is. the Green mm. Parrot. I think it still all is. All right, then. I love my show. He's a uh, dual international, really, a, a Kiwi rugby league. Uh, and rugby, and paid rugby for England, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Henry Paul. Actually, um, yeah. yeah, good to see you. It may be a problem. Ladies and gentlemen, he's a legend of broadcasting. My mate, your mate, Paul Henry. Welcome. Yeah, thank you. Fantastic. <coughs> great to be here. Well, it's great to have you here. One of the latest sponsors to come on board, it's the Biomag G-String. And the Biomag G-string, Jason, is fantastic for your long-haul flights, that kind of thing. I had one on a couple of weeks back when I was doing a long-haul flight. I was travelling in economy, but it felt like my testicles were travelling first class, you know? And that's what you want from the Biomag G-string. <laughs> So, um, dark, isn't he? It's, 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 <laughs> yeah, it's very funny. Mm. It's, it's on, um, you can see uh, that guy's World Cup on TVNZ On Demand. There'll be a new episode every week during the World Cup. I mean, <laughs> Thank you. How, how many extra people were they going to have to employ, uh, Owen? They're talking about, this is Telecom's assessment of the government proposal. They're saying they might have to employ an extra 700 million people to, to physically 700 separate. 700 million people? Did I say 700 million? <laughs> I've been, up, I've, been up, I've been up far too long. <laughs> They're going to have to employ the, the entire population of the United States of America. And Europe. And Europe. <laughs> well, that's...
sorts oh. out unemployment for a while. Uh, and, t and tourism, too. And I tell you <laughs> what, the, the new CEO, he deserves his salary. <laughs> yeah. What's he getting? He's getting a $3 million <laughs> bonus. We should make that $3 billion. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, numbers, numbers. <laughs> So 700 people, do we 700 think? people. 700. Okay, 700. That might be easier. Yeah, that might be easier for their recruitment arm to handle, I suspect. <laughs> You'd need more people and human resources, wouldn't you? Anyway, moving on. <clears throat> yes, let's move on. Actually, on this topic of more people, here we go. Can you believe that in 1980, 